Okay, hi everybody. We're working through the diploma prep material. This is the chapter on transformations, and this is a uh, we're looking at the the combined operations uh, questions here. This is question six. We just want to identify the transformations that have taken this one to this one right here. So first of all, I see that there's a two in front of the y, and that means just think about what would happen if I brought that over to the other side. What that would mean is I would have a I'd have to divide by two. So I'm going to have a vertical stretch by a factor of one half. Uh, on the other side here I see a negative, it's outside the function so I know this is a vertical transformation and I know it's a reflection so it's going to be a vertical reflection. Now don't worry about the fact that that I've written the stretch before the reflection or, or however you might have learned that. The order of the stretches and the reflections doesn't actually matter because they're both related to the, the operation of multiplication. Uh, it's just important that these things come before your translations. Now I move inside the function, so this has to be horizontal, and I see a one-third in front of the x. Okay, as long as I just read this properly left to right, I'm, uh, I'm okay here. Uh, if I was to isolate the x here, I'd have to multiply by 3, so that's a horizontal stretch by a factor of 3. That means multiply by 3. Then I look inside here and I see this plus 1, but that's not actually 1 to the left here. Because what I need to do is I need to separate the stretch from the translation. So I have to take the one-third out and then 1 divided by 1 third is 3. So actually what I've got here is a horizontal translation, 3 to the left. Now you gotta remember that, okay? You always gotta separate the, trans, the, the stretch out here. Now, we might be tempted to say that this is 4 down, but actually it's not. Uh, and the reason for that, and this is a little tricky, this question was designed to be more, more challenging. It's for the same reason that we had an issue understanding what the horizontal translation was. What I need to do here is I need to br I actually need to bring that 2 over for that stretch, that vertical stretch. So y equals negative 1 half f of 1 third. We've already taken the 1 third out. But if I divide this, the right hand side by 2, I have to divide everything through by 2, including the 4. And now what I've done is I've, I've put the stretch in the translation, or I've, I've separated them uh, properly. And so now the vertical translation is actually 2 down. Okay, it's kind of a mean question because there's an awful lot in there, but uh, yeah, you got to make sure that, that the stretch, that basically everything is on the right-hand side and that you've uh, factored the stretch, uh, horizontal stretch away from the translation.